You're good to go now. We'll open up for questions. Let's begin with Mike Singer. Mike, go ahead. Hey, Michael. Good to see you. Um, what have the first few days of practice, team practice, been like for you? And to to what degree are you are you feeling comfortable uh, with your new guys? Yes, I'm definitely feeling comfortable. Um, they're making me uh, feel like I'm at home uh, every day. They're telling me, you know, um, they're happy for me to be here. I'm excited about being here myself and uh, just trying to take it one day at a time and get the chemistry with the players. Next, we'll go to Katie Wingy. Katie, go ahead. Hey, Jamichael, tell me a little bit about how that chemistry is forming, because I would imagine you guys are testing out a bunch of different rotations, playing with a bunch of different guys. So how has that been for you? And is there anyone that you feel like you're particularly gelling with so far? Uh, it's been going well. Uh, everybody, we starting to get a feel for each other. You know, like you said, it's been different lineups. So, you know, the good part, everybody's playing hard, you know, and I'm trying to play the right way. So, uh, you know, it, it'll take a couple of games for us to get jelly. And, uh, you know, the sky's the number for us. We'll go to Chris Marlowe next. Chris, go ahead. Hey, Joe Michael. Hey, when we had uh, Paul Millsap a couple of Zooms ago, I asked him if he thought there might be a battle uh, for the starting power forward spot with you. And he said, there are no battles with my teammates. And I'm wondering how you feel about uh, your role, uh, possibly being a starter or coming off the bench. W what is your preference? It doesn't matter. Like Paul said, you know, there's no competition. My end goal is to win. Uh, we just going to try to make each other better every day. You know, we're going to battle, compete, get after each other, and um, we just want to win. So that's all that matters. Mike Singer next. Go ahead. Hey, Jamichael. Who has stood out to you uh, as you're kind of getting accustomed to your teammates? Who has caught your eye, maybe made a, a pretty strong first impression? Bobo. Uh, man, he's so long, athletic. Dribble, shoot, pretty much do everything you 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 need him to do out there, and uh, she's got so much potential. We'll go to Ryan Blackburn next. Ryan, go ahead. Hey, Jamichael, kind of being on the other side of this thing, you you played against Nikola Jokic and Jamal Murray in the playoffs last year. This time, you're you're coming to camp with them as your teammates. What has stood out to them, kind of being up close and personal to that duo, and and have you have you learned anything about them that you didn't already know? No, uh, they just down there, you know, uh, like kids, you know, they joke around, laugh. Uh, thought Joker would be, you know, quiet, but he's goofy, you know, he's outgoing. Just gonna be a fun year for us. Go to Mark Kisler next. Mark, go ahead. Well, I'm mean, I'm glad um, you used the the term goofy with Joker because I was going to use it. So what, I mean, he's not the typical big man, the way he plays and, and his personality is, as you've already discovered is unique. But what's it been like? Uh, uh, and how do you think you'll mesh with him? It's been good. I think I'm going to mesh well, you know, uh, he's a player that anybody can mesh well with him because he just plays the right way, you know, the way he's played. And uh, you know, I'm just happy to be here with him and uh, just looking forward to the start of the season. Joel Rush next. Joel, go ahead. Hi, Jim Michael. Uh, obviously, one of the reasons Denver wanted to bring you in was for your defensive skills. And I was just wondering how uh, you feel about how your skill set is kind of sliding into Denver's schemes there. Um, I think it, fit, it fits well, you know, with the style of play. Um, they get out to everybody. Switch uh, one through four, one through five, depending on the rotations and the lineups. Uh, so we we had a lot of weapons on the team, got a lot of length. So I think we uh we would be a problem this year. We'll go back to Mike Singer next. Mike, go ahead. Hey, Jim Michael. The Nuggets have talked a ton about culture, and it's kind of been integral to to their kind of the run and the rise the past few years. In your experience, what makes a good culture? Um, grit, grind, you know, uh, coming from Memphis, been in Memphis five years, that's kind of embedded in me. Uh, just grit and grind, you know, go out there, compete, not not giving up and, and fight. You know, they showed that in the bubble last year. Uh, Chris Marlowe next. Chris, go ahead. He's muted. 
Yeah, you're muted. There and, you go, Chris. I'm sorry. Uh, by my count, there have been three different nuggets to give you a, a, a high compliment. And, and Murray, Millsap, and Joker have called you a, a dog in a good way, a good dog, a tough dog, I suppose. I'm wondering, in terms of this Nuggets team throughout the years sometimes has not had the reputation of being a tough team, a physical team. Can you just talk about your attitude and what you can bring in terms of aggressive physicality? I'm just going to be myself. You know, uh, like you said, some teams may look at them not being dogs or, you know, uh, not being tough. But once they get on the floor, they'll, they'll change your mind about that. They'll shut your mouth. So, I mean, uh, that what they pretty much did, uh, you know, in the bubble when I was with the Clippers. So, I me, mean, uh, I'm just very excited, man. Uh, not going to come in and, and try to do too much. I'm just going to come in and be myself. What about Mark Kisla again? Mark, go ahead. You mentioned Memphis, and, and I think we all respect, I mean, that those teams you played with them, I mean, because you guys were a pain in the butt to play against for mm -hmm. sure, and I'm sure you took pride in that. So my question is, did you help put the dog in Memphis or did Memphis put the dog in you? I mean, how did that work? Were you already that way by the time you got to Memphis or did Memphis bring yeah. it out of you? Uh, you either born with it or without it. And I was born with it, you know. Yeah. Uh, just came around some dogs that was there already. You know, uh, Zebo, you had uh, Tony Allen, you know, just those two alone, man. You know, I was happy. Happy as hell to be a team as, you know, coming into the league. But uh, they definitely instilled more into me. But uh, I, I definitely came in with that attitude. All right, Jamichael, that will do it for today, man. We appreciate it. Thank you.